Hello, I'm Mike, and this is the little bit of my channel where I answer questions that I've been asked about the physics screen and about physics. And this time I want to chat a bit about the personal statement, advice for the personal statement, which to sort of get what this is, if you try and go into a physics degree, you will often be asked to provide a personal statement, basically about, usually about a page or so from what I remember, of writing about sort of who you are, what you've done that makes you a good candidate for a physics degree. And there's plenty of advice on the internet, sort of examples and what to write. So I often sort of, if I'm asked, I would direct someone to that or to ones that I find pretty helpful. But here's a few things that I'll say that I think might be useful to you. The first thing to remember is that your personal statement may come up in your interview. So, you, for some universities, you do a personal statement and you also go there and are interviewed by a member of staff. If that member of staff pulls something up from your personal statement, you don't want to be left floundering for words. So, make sure even after you've wrote it, that you read it and that you remember most of what you've done. In my case, the way I did this was I had a personal statement, but I also had a little scrap of paper with a bullet pointed list of what was on there, which I had a quick look at before I went into the interview. So if anything would be asked about that, okay, I can remember what's in there, I can remember what I've said. I'm not going to mess something up, I'm not going to show because what that will do, of course, if you don't get that, is it will show that what you've put on your personal statement is, this is why I'm passionate about physics, is actually something that you can't really remember. Yeah, that's not a good look, so remember that. The other advice that I'd give is, there's two things about the actual writing. The first is be specific. You see, every wanker and their Uncle Willie can write Oh, I'm passionate about physics. I love doing physics. I got passionate about it in an early age. You know, with the person who's reading this has seen that a hundred times. What you have to be able to say is something more specific. Like, talk about sort of, this is the event that got me into physics. You know, it might be sort of a if it's like getting into physics, you don't just say, oh, I'm into physics by reading some physics books. Like, you know, be specific. Specify this is the thing that I read. This is the articles that I looked at. This is the sort of, this is the event that I went to that really kicked this off. And it's a bit of revision because that's not really how your mind works. But you do have to sort of get down to the specifics of why I want to do this. The other thing about being specific is you will often want to put sort of other things you do. So like in my case, it was scouting. In some other people's case, it might be like they volunteer for a local, sort of say, youth, another sort of local youth group, or they, you, you know, they have this major hobby or sort of thing that they've done that they think might be worth putting in a personal statement and the way I would put it is it's fine to do that but try to relate that back to why it fits in with physics and this is true for sort of whatever subject you're doing don't just say oh I did this try to relate it to the subject because that's what the person reading the statement cares about say your idea was like you've done a bit of tutoring you taught people you could mention that one of the things you were teaching them is mathematics and sort of but if you're teaching the foundations of mathematics you need to have a much firmer grasp of it yourself something like that it doesn't have to be much but the sort of can you relate this to something that someone looking for a physicist would care about and that's really the only advice i give as i say find examples online as best you can and sort of work through from there is the best thing that i can give Anyway, thank you for listening. Goodbye.